in along with this, we also, because we had already put all this work into figuring out chords and particularly this chord detection algorithm, which was one of the hardest parts of making this, um, it also became possible to do one other device, which is going to be a free device that is kind of like a baseline generator that uses your chord progression to generate a baseline for you. So here we have bass and lead. It can also generate like a lead. And if we have it in bass mode, it's basically just going to take the lowest notes and let's actually modify this chord just a little bit. Let's go to stacks again and just make something fresh. Uh, we need to change the root note and we need to be in a scale. Okay, fine. Shush. Okay. Uh, so we have a chord progression here that maybe we're using somewhere in our track. And I'm going to go to bass and lead and I'm going to hit transform. And it's just going to get rid of everything but the lowest notes. Uh, you can also shift those notes by octave in whichever direction you want to. Uh, and you can also shift the velocity. Attraction works exactly the same way as it does in the chord inverter. And if you do lead mode, then it takes the highest note. So if I go back, go back to the beginning and we do lead or bass, you can see we're taking the top or the bottom. So that's a free device. Uh, the other one that is free, by the way, that I don't know if I mentioned is reduce. 